My name is Jennifer Burton and I'm Chris Burton. And our son, Zach, was 27 years old when he passed <clears throat> away of an overdose. He was just a great young man and, and had so many friends and he always wanted to help people and active. He was a two-time football state champion, really good athlete, snowboarding, wakeboarding, anything outside Zach loved to do. He had so many friends. Zach was a sophomore in college and he, like so many others, you know, in high school, he drank some and, you know, like the typical high school kids do. We have a really open family and we talk a lot. Zach called us and told us that he was having a problem, that he had taken Oxycontin. It had really grabbed a hold of him. You know, we were just so happy that he called. We weren't judging him. We we're just, Zach, we knew nothing about any of this. You know, we said, we're going to get you fixed. We found a place in Nashville, Tennessee. We, we were naive enough to think that we're, he's going to go there for 30 days and it's over with. Yeah. Little did we know, you know, this was the start of a, of a very long process. Zach previously had gone to um, a rehab facility where he was living in California. He came out of there with a lot of useful tools. Then Zach had a tonsillectomy uh, in June of 2017. He had to have uh, pain medicine. Sure. It just started a downhill spiral from there. You know, we were having trouble finding a, a good place. And so he said, I just think I, I think I just want to come home. On September the 1st, he was packing and all excited and everything to come home. And he had a flight the next day out of Los Angeles to Indianapolis that left at two. And I was talking to him all morning and I was at the grocery and he was telling me what food he liked and what he wanted me to make him. And we were just laughing and he said, Mom, I can't wait to get home. And I was driving down the road and I remember feeling like I was so happy. And then I remember all of a sudden I was just like shaking out of control and I felt nauseous and really hot. And uh, I remember having to pull over because I thought I was going to be sick. Then I got home and I said, Chris, I can't get a hold of Zach. You know, he should be um, leaving for the airport. And Chris said that he had tried to call him as well. So then I tracked his phone and it said he was still at the hotel. And I called the front desk and they said, we're trying to get into his room. And they said that somebody was going to call us back and like 15 minutes later, they called Chris's phone and it was a sheriff. He told us that he was gone. When this happened to, to Zach, we wanted to do something first and foremost to honor him and to help others. So, so Jenny and I started the Zach 43 Foundation. The number was 43. so. We see 43 everywhere. You know, we get a lot of God winks signs from Zach all the time. That's what keeps me going because I know he's with me every single day. I would say to the family, if you suspect that something may be going on with your loved one, just educate yourself. I tell family members, don't get mad at your loved one, get mad at the addiction. That's something that's not really them. You know, this is their behavior is being caused by that. So get mad at that. Find a way to fix, help them fix that addiction. And then I would, you know, for sure tell people that are struggling with it, listen to the people that will help you the most, okay? Because addiction will lie to you.